Uh, anyway, we're going to do something new today. Uh, there's a new game that's been released. Uh, I think it was released last week. It's been some updates since then. It's a mobile app. It's called Choker, um, which it's, it's a non-violent game. Um, and the, the name comes from the, the combination of chess and poker. And I've played it a little bit. I, I've made some intention to like not get not try and get really good at it um to try and learn as i go um of course like the chess aspect of it will be uh will be hopefully my strong points poker aspect we'll see um but i'm gonna play a game um and for those of you who have not heard of this we'll kind of learn as we go i think i'll find a match and we'll do the lowest stakes. But yeah, my username is just Eric Rosen. Uh, all one word. No spaces. And um, yeah, so if people add me as a friend, I'll, I'll be more likely to play them. But this is a random opponent. I'm playing guest. Guest 24118. Two bishops. Starting the game with a bishop pair. So I should sh like try and explain how this works. Um, essentially, there's three phases. You start the game with a certain number of chips. Um, it looks like my opponent bought in for 2,000 chips. I started with 6,000, so maybe it's already lopsided. And then you're dealt cards, which are chess pieces. And uh, there's a betting phase. I'm going to be passive here. I'm gonna, I just want to get to the, the chess phase. So assuming we we go through the rounds of betting, then it will uh, it will kind of transform into chess. Well, this is a pretty strong hand. Like normally, I should bet this. My opponent checking. I'm gonna place a very small bet. We'll bet like um, yeah, just half the pot. Um, oh, I should make a choker command. <clears throat> if people want to install the game, uh, I forgot to do this beforehand. I have the link here. I think that should work. I just left all the links in the chat. So depending what device you have, you can you can get the game. Okay, so white moves first. So this is a placement phase. Uh, which means um, we take turns placing the cards that we were we, that we were dealt. I'm gonna place a pawn. I think pawn chains are typically good. Place a pawn on f6. Scotty Corp, thanks for subbing. And um, I'll be left with like a strong kind of distribution of pieces. The rooks will belong on open files. Let's try and be flexible, though. I'll place a bishop. It's a nice square for the bishop. Yeah, so for those of you confused, just keep watching. Hopefully it'll make sense. Um, once all the pieces are placed, we play chess. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, okay, guaranteed that we're going to have different pieces. This is interesting because the bishop is attacking my bishop. Um, I should have no fear. Let's uh, let's place a rook on open file. And this first round, it's really just demonstration. I'll try and answer any immediate questions uh, related to this game. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's not making sense so far because we, we haven't reached the chess phase yet. Uh, so we place pieces back and forth. Once we've placed all our pieces, white will move first. Uh, let's place a bishop. I should place a bishop on a dark square. Let's place it here, attacking the d4 pawn. Can you castle? That's a good question. I think, I think castling is allowed if you place your rook in the corner. Oh, a pawn has a queen. And threatening maiden one. So I have to place a rook to stop maiden one. 
This will be interesting, actually. Let's place a rook. Queen c6, also a threat. I'll place a rook on b8. Okay, so third and final play phase is a chess phase. Um, I do. I used to play normal poker a lot more. I did go through a poker phase when I was in college. Um, but then I, I eventually got more interested in chess. Um, but okay, this is kind of the best of both worlds. Wow, a lot of things are being attacked. So my bishop on a7 is attacked, but our bishops are staring at each other. Castling maybe is playable. I can't take on b2 because I get mated. I could throw in the check? should probably... Okay, I, I have an idea. I'm going to take on a2 first. It's actually a very interesting position. If I take on a2 first, white will play queen takes a7, most likely. I also don't know how good my opponent is at chess. I guess we're about to find out. I'm calculating queen takes a7, and then I check first. Oh, that doesn't quite work, though, because if I check first, there's going to be queen a8 in the end. And my bishop's attacked, too. Okay, so hopefully my opponent doesn't see queen a8. Because I wanted to take on b2. problem with taking on b2 immediately was queen a8 would win the rook on h8. This is unfortunate. And again, if rook takes b2, queen a8 will win on h1. So I'll take the knight, and then I'll take the bishop. It'll be queen for bishop and rook. And time is relevant. Uh, Just add blue saying this phase should be bullet. Yeah, it's. Um, I think we each started with 90 seconds. This is a new game, so I'm I'm sure there will be like improvements along the way. But there's, uh, yeah, I think this is the first version like released to the public. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Yeah, um, I think there there's a lot of like game theory and strategy involved, especially in the betting phase. But okay, I like the fact I have a time advantage. I have a feeling my opponent will flag eventually. Jsut Basin is cheering for me. Appreciate that. Yeah, you can cheer with your words or with your bits. Uh, let's play the only reasonable move. Yeah, it looks like opponent will end up flagging. I'll give a check on c4. I mean, objectively, objectively white's better, but I think uh, black would have some drawing chances here. Hmm. I'll have to be careful. I can't even play rook h1 check. Okay, let's play... Queen f3 coming. I guess queen f3, I'll have bishop f5. Ooh. Bishop f7. Okay, I'm, I'm sheltered from the checks. So we're going to see a dirty flag, most likely. And even if this were, like, just a long chess game, uh, I think black has a fortress here. Like, I'll win the d5 pawn. I would probably play this for a win in real chess. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of endgames. Like, if, if we get to the chess phase, if no one folds... Ooh, free queen. <laughs> Is this what we call a Chotez Gambit? Who said that? Peter Balkus said that. Shout out to Peter Balkus. Okay, I won the pot. So I won the amount of chips that were initially bet. Um, if I had gone all in, my opponent called, then I would have won the, the whole game. Um, so the game continues. And we each alternate between small blind, small blind and big blind, I believe. 
I guess I, I couldn't play a, a Botez Gambit that last game because I didn't start with a queen. Waiting for opponent's bet. Maybe opponent is petrified or contemplating. Okay, I might I might click the X button because I don't know what's going on. Like we're just stuck. Let's let's find a new opponent. Leave the Tap to continue. Okay, let, let's try and find someone who's like a real person. Um do I have any oh I have friend requests. Three. Accept. 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 Okay, so the three people whose friend request I just accepted. I think you can send me a challenge. Two pawns. This is maybe the worst starting hand. <laughs> and the one thing about streaming this is my opponent could stream snipe me. So, oh, this is a $10,000 or 10,000 chip buy-in. Okay, let's check. Oh, but there's a concept of a full house. Wait, let's go back to the, the infographic. If I get a full house, um, it's called an empress. Okay, so it's called an empress here. Then there will be a promotion to a queen. Ah. So this is an example. Um, the third knight becomes a queen. And then there's sound effects <laughs> oh Gryler is muting the stream okay that's a good sign hopefully not looking at the stream either um let's bet let's bet like let's bet the whole pot hey I won by my opponent folding so we didn't even get to the chess phase. Interesting. So maybe my opponent will be a bit more cautious than usual. Not the most exciting hand, bishop and pawn. Uh, I'll call. Yeah, so assuming we get through the rounds of betting, then we play chess. <laughs> Did you get scared? Um, I don't get scared too easily. But my opponent betting against me makes me slightly scared. What is this? This is called choker. Chess plus poker. <laughs> We're in the betting phase. Um, yeah, I'll check again. We'll, we'll try and like get as many rounds of chess as possible. This is another concept of promotion. Um, the third pawn, I think upgrades to a rook. Let's check again. Yeah, going back to this infographic, promotions. Pawns are promoted if you receive three or more. Third pawn is always going to a rook, okay. Oh, let's call. Okay, so opponent probably has a good hand if uh, they're betting against me. Yeah, the, um, every every round the cards are redealt, so you'll get different hands every time. Okay, so this is a placement phase. I'm still not sure how to, uh, like, what the best strategy is. No place a pawn on g4. Because pawn chains are good. Mm. Okay, this is a good sign that the opponent um, also has pawns. If my opponent has a queen, I'll probably just be worse. But we'll see. Fion Shadow, welcome back. Shout out to Fiona, who I streamed with just a few days ago. What to do? Um, let's place a bishop. 
I want to have the threat of rook h8. So let's place a bishop. I'm actually going to place it on d2. Because if my opponent has a queen, I'll have better winning chances if there's opposite colored bishops. I guess also better losing chances. Hmm. Yeah, Fiona, if you want to add me as a friend, my name is Eric Rosen. Okay, this is interesting, because if I place a rook, I'll be threatening rook h8, but my opponent will have ideas of rook a1. I'm, I'm trying to calculate, like, rook h1. Rook h1 will basically force my opponent to play something on f8, g8, or g7, whether it be a queen or a rook, and then I'll play bishop c3. This is the one thing that varies about chess, like the concept of placing pieces. Now, I forgot my time begins ticking in the placement phase, which is relevant, I believe. Okay, so I'll be threatening rook h8. We'll see if opponent sees the threat. Do I have a friend code? Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh, opponent had a queen. Okay. So let's play bishop c3. Oh, so another thing. You can only place the pieces on the first two ranks. Pawns can be placed between the second and the fourth rank. Okay, so this is interesting. Like, I'm, I'm probably better at chess than my opponent, but my opponent has better pieces. And we're playing for a pot of 3.6k chips. Um... And I'm, I'm down on time, too, so I'm down on material. I'm down on time, but I have I have bishop b4 ideas. I like the fact that, um, that I went for opposite color bishops. Yeah, bishop b4 could be nice. Then black will have to be careful not to step into a fork. Yeah, let's start with bishop b4. Um, if you want to get the game, it's just called Choker. You can go to, um, I think it's easiest just to go to whatever links in the chat, depending on what device you have. Wow, do I have mating ideas? I mean, I have, uh, I can't take too much time. Rook h6. Let's play rook d1. Threatening rook d6. If d5, I'll have knight c5. But, okay, like, material-wise, it's a queen. Okay, let's play rook d6. It was a queen for a knight. I think opponent will have to take on d6. Otherwise, I'll have rook b6 coming. Ooh, okay, rook b6. I'm winning back. I'm just winning the queen for free. As I unleash the, the bishop, and I obstruct the queen from being able to take the bishop. Okay, that was a very nice gift. Yeah, black should have taken on d6. Black should have probably played d5 earlier. Just to stop rook d6. We have a touchdown emoji. It's a slightly different game. But, uh... Yeah, things are looking good now. Just have to watch the time. Let's... Okay, let's um, play this move. I'm going to try and mate the king in the center. Let's take here. e is hanging, but then I'll play king g3. So if... Yeah, I know there's, there's going to be people challenging me. I do want to have a game against Fiona. So if Fiona's around when this match finishes... Try and look to, to get a game. Let's put the rook on g7. I have a nice mating idea. If black attacks a bishop, I'm not going to move the bishop. I'll play knight f5. Oh no, my bishop! My beautiful bishop. Okay. I mean, I know my opponent's not stream sniping, but... Uh, 
That was nice. Okay, so I won the pot. Came back from material deficit. Um, so now I have I have 4,000 more chips than my opponent. Um, and now I'm the big blind. <laughs> Come Cuervos says, I think I'm into choking now. Is choking the act of playing choker? Let's just bluff my opponent. Raise. Pot. Two pawns. Probably the worst starting hand. Though I'm not sure, because if I get another pawn, it would turn into a rook. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still not sure what like the, the worst starting hand is. The best starting hand has to be queen and rook. So if you get two queens and one of the queen gets demoted to a pawn, another hand with two pawns. Okay, I'll just call. Hey, okay. So the, the pawn got promoted to a rook. If I get a second pawn, just to show the rules. Uh, my opponent bet 400. Yeah, let's call. If I get a second pawn, it gets promoted to a queen. Oh, I, did, I got Delta Queen anyway. Okay. Beautiful. Let's, um, I mean, let's bet half the pot. Okay, this is a pretty good hand. So I think generally it's unlikely that the opponent will have a queen. And opponent's playing very uh, conservatively. Which is okay. I keep winning chips. It's fine with me. Oh, Fiona saying she had one with two pawns and three minor pieces. That has to be the worst hand. Man, this is the third hand in a row. I have two pawns. He is on the stream. Yeah, but he said earlier that he muted it, which is very um, ethical. But I guess even if he muted it, he could see, possibly. But it's okay. I would request that... <laughs> Uh, people who play me don't look at my cards. Okay, another promotion. So two rooks and knights. Okay, I'll call. We'll, we'll have another chess phase. Okay. I think I'll, I'll employ the same pawn chain I had earlier. Might have some symmetrical structure if my opponent does the same thing. Oh, interesting comment from Shivan Bonsal. Knows nothing about poker, so even looking won't help. Yeah, I guess you, you do have to understand like the betting aspect of poker to play this. But I would imagine it's not too difficult to uh, to catch on. Yeah, I think I'm safe placing a rook on, on h8. Oh, unless... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, if white places a rook on h1, white gets the first move. I could... Yeah, let's have... We have to be really careful here. Let's, let's imagine I place a rook on h7. Then, if my opponent has a queen, places on b1, I just, I'm just lost. I would be lost regardless if my opponent has a queen. I feel like I'm just in trouble here. Let's play some knight. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah. Okay, so let's just not get mated because opponent's threatening. Actually, opponent is threatening queen c8, but I have knight d8. It's not pleasant. 
I'll place a rook on, on d8. So my, my rook on h8 is defended by my knight. I would actually really like to castle if I get the chance. But we'll see what happens. I guess there's some there's some similarity to Crazy House. But it's a bit different because there's just one placement phase. There's no placing once the chess phase begins. So this will be actually a really true test to my opponent's chess ability. I would still imagine it takes it take a somewhat experienced player to beat me candidly in this position. So I'm just gonna like try and be solid, place a rook on d6, knight on g6. Wait, why am I not sub? <laughs> um, Tagi, I think you are a sub, but you're also the bits leader and you're also a mod. So you can only have, like only a few badges can it display next to your name. Um, but I'm not sure. Oh, maybe maybe you weren't a sub, but now you're a sub. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, oh, I'm in big trouble here. Okay, let's let's develop the knight. I'm just worried about my light squares. Like if queen e6, white's threatening two different mates in two. Uh, thanks, dog guy twenty five, gifting Tagi a sub. <laughs> So, yeah, the idea is king h6, and then I just have to pray. I have to pray to the higher higher beings, and then I have to pray on my opponent's queen. So do two different forms of praying. Oh, man. No, like, this is so unfortunate. Because there's two different mating squares. There's g6 and h7. Um, and this is the only move to survive. And now my pawns are going to fall. Yeah, opponent is playing this well. My only hope... I'm hoping to get a king to g3 and then mate on a1. But that wouldn't even be mate, because bishop could block. Wow. My rook's tied down to defending the knight. So I think my only hope is time at this point, which I do have slightly more of. You were a sub 60 minutes ago. I was sub in your stream 60 minutes ago. Maybe you subbed like exactly a month ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, there goes my king. Okay, so that's that's choke mate. It used to say choke mate. So now defeat is slightly less. Terrifying. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm, I'm still ahead, like, overall. I didn't lose too many chips that pot. That was actually the first pot I lost. Okay. I have a rook. Ooh, two rooks. So I have to remind myself, uh, what happens if I, oh, if I get a third rook, it gets demoted to a pawn. Uh, let's call. Mm. Ah. That's unfortunate. I could probably bet and just make my opponent fold. I'll bet the minimum. <laughs> uh, you're watching Choker. It's a combination of chess and poker. Okay, this is actually a, a very reasonable hand. Uh, chat or bet? I should bet. Oh, oops, I checked. <laughs> Maybe my opponent will bet, and then I'll raise. 
How good are you at poker? I first played poker when I was... Okay, I'm going to raise the whole pot. I played the National Open in Vegas, chess tournament. Um, I, I did really badly in the chess tournament. And then I stayed one extra day. I was 21. So I played poker in the casino. First time playing like live game of poker. And I did well. Like I've... I won basically enough to cover all of my trip expenses. Uh, let's place a pawn. And then I went through a bit of a phase, but... Um, yeah, chess was more, still slightly more interesting. Uh-oh. Opponent lost connection. Okay, opponent regained connection. If I place a pawn, it will give away that I have two rooks, but that's okay. Mm. I could place on e4 could be interesting. Let's place it on g4, keeping the same structure. And this is um, a more kind of experimental stream. Um, the first time streaming the game getting a sense of the the ins and outs also just getting a sense of how to play okay I'll place a rook place a rook on the edge so how am I yeah that's a good question how am I streaming this from uh, I, I installed a, a virtual machine on my desktop uh, it's called BlueStacks. It allows me to install Android apps on on the computer. So I'm not playing from a, a mobile device. Just heard about this. Dead man. How's it going? Welcome back. Yeah, um it's still it's still a very new game, I know. I know there are like improvements, uh, a lot of suggestions of like ways to improve the overall user experience. But, uh, I was playing poker last night, then to bars, <laughs> and back to poker. I was home 9 a.m. Hashtag hangover. I like how it pronounces the hashtag. Nerd, thanks for subbing. Um, yeah, so I guess Tagi. Tagi is a, also a chess and poker player. I'm curious, like, how many people in the chat are like familiar with poker or play poker. I assume everyone's familiar with chess. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, so I'm I'm up material. Um opponent being kind of safe, but this should be pretty straightforward win. Actually if knight if knight f to e6, I'll have queen g6 check. And this should just be lights out. And quite nice. Okay, rook. Rook there. Problem is knight d8 in the end. Go play rook a5. Rook a5 is a nice move. Ah, Fiona has to go soon. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is turning out to be a, a longer match than expected. Like, opponents putting up resistance. LMCK art, thanks for subbing. But I'll definitely have to organize a match with Fiona. Maybe we can even like plan it ahead. Now that I'm back in St. Louis, there, there should be it should just be easier to have like dual streams. I can even have you appear somewhere, like through video call. Whoa! All these people, all these new subs at once. Uh, let's play Queen H7. Just trying to strangle the king. Um, a lot of people to thank. Wow. Uh, let's give some thanks to Com Come Cuervos and Wallace. 
Okay, this is just crushing, it looks like. Uh, Campus Ringling. Thanks so much, everyone. Okay, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Fiona. Shout out to Fioncetta. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take the queen. I'm going to first throw in the check. And then probably take with rook. Queen G coming, opponent resigns, or folded, I guess. So I won, I think I won a pretty big pot there. Now it's 15,000 to 5,000, and the games continue. I think I'll, I'll start betting more aggressively, even, even with bad hands. Um... Opponent folded. Yeah, it seems like opponents may be just waiting for a good hand. I don't want to go all in with like a garbage cards. I'm not going to go all in with two pawns. But I just have to wait for the right opportunity. And I think my opponent's probably waiting for the right opportunity to just shove. Let's call. Chessweeb stopping by. What's up, Chessweeb? Shout out, Chessweeb. Another pawn. I mean, that's uh, basically half the game is chess. Uh, let's bet. Let's see what opponent does. Okay, so yeah, three pawns. Going back to the PDF guide. Um. The third pawn is, where is it? Third pawn becomes a rook. Fourth pawn becomes a queen. Fifth pawn is also a queen. I think it's very unlikely to receive five pawns in a row though. Who invented this concept? Chess and poker. Um, go to chokergame.com and you can find out more information. I'm just going to bet all the time. We'll see if we can get another chess phase. But these are honestly not the greatest cards. Like, I don't have a queen. Um, I'll check, actually. Opponent also checks. Okay, I got a rook. Let's, um, I'm black. This white should have the advantage. Let's bet. Opponent seems weak. When I say weak, I mean like the cards seem weak based on the betting pattern. <laughs> so there's no such thing as a flush in this game. Because the, the cards are just chess pieces. Going back to here, um, the possible cards are... Uh, there's 44 cards. These are. This is a breakdown of queens, bishops, rooks, knights, and pawns. Uh, let's call. But there are special hands. Like, okay, here is a promotion. Ooh, here's another promotion. I was just saying how unlikely it is to get like so many pawns in a row. Oh, this is actually quite nice. If I get another pawn, I'll get a, a second queen. Um, I don't want to... I want to get to the chess phase. I'll, I'll bet the minimum. Please call. Otherwise, like, if my opponent keeps folding, the, the chips will be slowly drained. And eventually I should win. Okay, we have a call. This will be fun. I think I've, I should have the better hand. Is it possible to get five queens? No. Um, I think the maximum possible is, is two, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
And you can see the um the guide here. Hmm. Place upon. I've been doing the structure every time. I should try and mix it up and experiment. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Every every few minutes we get the comment, what am I watching? Uh, this is choker. It's chess and poker. We're in the placement phase. I'll probably put this full stream on YouTube. So for YouTube people, hopefully you've absorbing slowly but surely how this is working. Why light squared bishop? Good question. I place a bishop on light square because black's king is on the light square. And I was threatening both bishop a4 and bishop g6. So I think I'm guaranteed. Am I guaranteed a better hand? I guess a pony could potentially have rook and queen. Hmm. I could be very close to mating, actually. Debating between a1 and b1. Let's play b1. I'll be threatening queen b5 or bishop a4. Oh, my opponent... I think my opponent just reacted to something. That was interesting. Oh, I have bishop a4. Bishop a4 just wins on the spot. But I don't know if opponent could have done anything about that. I guess queen d7 was about the best move. Just stop the checks along the diagonal. Or wait, no, is that a rook? That's a rook, never mind. I thought that was a queen for a moment. Yeah, opponent was just in big trouble. <laughs> ah, so I can go like thumbs up. Oh, I can react. <laughs> I was wondering what these buttons do. That's funny. So I guess you can't, like, chat with your opponent. Huh. Okay. So I've won... I think I've won everything but one pot. What's going on? I think this happened... Did this happen earlier? What's the approach? Just exit? Again, really the main point of the stream is just to play and like understand some strategy. Yeah, something went wrong here. I'm gonna leave. Leaving the match will lose the pot. But I think I I still walk away with more chips. So got my uh my share. Let's do one more match. This next one, I'll probably be quite aggressive. Um, whoa, I just accepted the first thing. I don't know what I accepted, but I accepted something. Okay, I'm playing... I'm playing black. Who am I playing? I'm playing Stockfist. Good luck, Stockfist. Stockfist in the chat saying, I'll look away. Okay, Stockfist is a mod, longtime viewer, programmer. I have, I, have, I have two minor pieces. I think I'll bet. I just want to get a sense of like, his style. Oh, I checked. I meant to bet. Okay, I'll bet here. Yeah, let's bet. I'll bet the pot. Hmm. So I have four minor pieces and a pawn. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think Stockfist is actually a pretty good chess player, but I'll bet anyway. Let's see what the, the situation is. I do have the bishop pair. The bishop pair is only effective if I place the bishops on different color squares. Placement time, okay. 
Um, pawn on d3. I'll do the same. Play some copycat approach. Ooh, okay, so opponent has two pawns at least. You can't have more than two pawns, I don't think. Be careful with my bishops. Let's play a knight. I mean, if white has a queen, then I'll be I'll be much worse. But so far, I I like what I see. There's bishop on b7. If I want to be really safe, I can place a knight on uh, on d8. Can you have three pawns? I guess if if a pawn gets demoted. I can bring up the rules again. I'm still learning like the, the demotions and promotions. I've not had, uh, there's special hands called an empress and the palace. I think I had the empress actually. Palace I haven't had yet. Okay, let's put the bishop. Let's place a knight here first. Two queens would just overpower me. So what does Stockfist have? Oh, has a queen. Okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna be worse, but I'll have two minor pieces for the queen. Um, I could place a bishop, maybe on h8. Actually, everything's defended. My knights defend each other, and each knight defends a bishop. And I'm attacking the queen with my bishop in the corner. Please don't see it. Yeah, the way to get two queens is to have uh, it's like some promotion. Okay, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm worse here, but I'm going to try and hold my own. Now, it does take work for white to crack this position. Also, time-wise, time-wise, I think I'll be in, in relatively good shape. Let's play... Play this. It's hard to generate threats, but... I guess the strategy is just to be patient. Uh, I should probably take... I'll play knight e5. Kind of a nice outpost square. It's actually a very hard structure for, for white to crack. My light squares are arguably weak, but there's not really much white can do to exploit them. And my knight actually, my knight controls lots of key light squares. Actually, both knights. Okay. Yeah, no, like in a longer game, it would be very hard to play this for a win. And what would be the one trying to grind down? But for now, life is good. A flag, flag is pretty much inevitable. I should have a match against the other Eric someday. 
I've played him over the board. <laughs> okay. Exchange of emotes. I won. I won on time. That was nice. I mean, yeah, it is tough when... I guess when you can't convert the material advantage. Not a great hand. I'm just going to be aggressive with betting. It's probably not a great decision. But I'm just curious what my opponent will do. Ooh, opponent's calling. Doesn't call my bluff. Uh, this, is, this is probably one of the worst hands. I'm going to check as well. If I get a queen, I'm going to shove. Okay, I got a pawn. Gets promoted to a rook. Um, I'll check. The pot is almost 5,000 chips. Uh, this is, yeah, this is one versus one. And we have multiple rounds of, like, betting and placement. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. I'm going to employ a solid setup, because I'm scared, like, because he called, he probably has good cards. Uh, what in the world am I watching? You're watching choker, combination of chess and poker. So we got through the betting phase. This is the placement phase. Pawns can be placed second through fourth rank. Pieces just on the first two ranks. White will move first. Ooh, symmetrical. Hmm. I think the bishop. Bishop is typically happy on c2. It complements the pawn chain. Is d3, e4, or f5? They're they're all anchor points. And maybe the knight can also come into play. Like knight f1 could actually be a quite uh, useful square. Eventually coming to g3 and f5. Okay, have to be careful about the bishop. It's a problem, the dark squares are weak. Hmm. It's a little bit unsettling. Using my knight to control some dark squares. Ooh, this could be very unpleasant. Especially if black has a queen. I guess we'll find out. Okay, one. Okay. Oh no. Oh, that's a rook. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I could... Ooh. Actually, this is interesting. That's a rook. Problem is black's threatening bishop f2. I can't really throw in a check. e3 might actually be reasonable. Bishop g6 also playable. I think I'll play e3. Because I stop bishop f2, and I'm threatening bishop e4. And the rook is just tied down to the bishop. Yeah, casting is possible. But now bishop e4. And I should be winning material. And if I win the exchange, it'll be equal material. Uh, napkin's asking an uh, interesting strategy question. Should you always put the most valuable, most uh, powerful pieces last? I think so. I think it makes the most sense. Because you don't want to reveal, and you don't want to commit your strongest pieces. Because they can generate the most initiative. 
once you know kind of the overall placement of your opponent's pieces. But there might be some might be some reason to do so. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's ooh, wait a minute. This is a free rook. But I can take with either thing. Let's take with bishop. And now the the bishop is hanging on e3. Yeah, Stockfish should have moved somewhere else. Art Vega. Art Vega 1983. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. That's a new name. Is that a chess streamer? Or poker streamer? Or art streamer? Before the stream started, I was looking for the choker category on Twitch, but there's no such category. So maybe someday once this, this game becomes more popular. Oh, it is a chess streamer. Okay, I'll have to, to give a follow and a shout out. Yeah, after this, uh, after this stream, I'll take a look. Thanks again. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, this is a big pot. Opponent's going to lose most of the chips. Wait, did I type it in wrong? Oh, I typed in Vegas. Oops. <laughs> Let me try. Let me try that one more time. I was just typing reflexes. There we go. <laughs> okay. I won the pot. Another flag. I think no matter what, I'm just going all in. We're gonna end the pain. And maybe I'll, I'll go all in before, only after the first two cards. Oh, opponent resigned. Yeah, I think these, these stats need to be improved. But, uh, Okay, that was uh, that was certainly a, an interesting um, experience, streaming just a new game, where I do have the chess background, but there is still strategy to figure out. Um, I know there were there were some improvements on the technical side, some of the games not not completing, but um, yeah, feel free to give feedback in the chat. I know there's there's probably going to be a lot more updates to this app, and there will be, I think, more content. I know Nakamura has been streaming this a bit. Um, there, there's some stuff on YouTube people can can search for, but um, and I, I might even put this whole stream on YouTube. I'll see. I might cut it up. We'll see. People watching in the future on YouTube, let me know what you think in the comments.